rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. But this stuff, I've it's all I have left. Call City 17 my home. All right, I'm moving. And so, whether you are here to stay or Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City Are you 17. the only ones on that train? It's safer here. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, letting me wait for him. To City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so far. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing they're always well, departing, but they never arrive. To City 17. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. I see. They took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. Welcome. I wouldn't say Welcome that loud. This is the base of operations. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining <laughs> urban centers. Wait a minute. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactor. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing your home on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Watch 
About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision? We'll have to wait your turn like everybody else. Will they ever deactivate the suppression field? The line starts at the end. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying the consent rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires physical rethinking, revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought and direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like this to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulse. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up again. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us to remain from change and progress. 
instinct, therefore, must be expanded. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time as a species, mortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far reached. I can't take it anymore. It's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? We'll think of something. End. Don't worry. Please. It's all right. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your citizens. Protection. Pass it. Full in here. ration reward. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Priority identification check in progress. Get in here quick! 
Keep moving, head for the roof! Get going! Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, 
I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, yeah, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie! It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney! You're not an animal person. Ugh. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V Hazardous Environment Suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit to stuff, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. should self-limit and I've clamped the manifold parameters to base and LT orbifold. No particular Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind... Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc! Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. 
Certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Ah! Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Thank <laughs> you. 